Class 2 Maths Lesson number 2 Place value Face value Number names and abacus Place value and face value The digits make numbers For example 1, 2 and 3 are digits of the number 123 Every digit in a number has a face value and a place value. Face value The face value of a digit is the digit itself. Place value The place value signifies the place of a digit in a number. The value of the digit changes with the change in place of the digit. Let us look at the face value and place value of the digits in the number 145. Hundreds place, tens place, ones place. The face value of the digit 5 is 5. The place value of the digit 5 is 5 ones or 5. The face value of the digit 4 is 4. The place value of the digit 4 is 4 tenths of 40. The face value of digit 1 is 1. The place value of digit 1 is 100. Number names of 3 digit numbers. To write the number name of a three digit number, we write the hundreds place first, then the tens and ones place together. For example, the number formed with the digit 1, 4 and 9 is written as 149. The number formed with the digits 6, 8 and 0 is written as 680. We form the three digit number in the format H2O wherein H stands for the hundreds place, T stands for the tens place and O stands for the ones place. Exercise 1.1 Question number 1. Write the face value and place value of the digit in box. Answer A. The face value of digit 1 is 1 and the place value of 1 is 100. Answer B. The face value of digit 2 is 2 and the place value of 2 is 20. Answer C. The face value of digit 4 is 4 and the place value of 4 is 4. Answer D. The face value of digit 9 is 9 and the place value of 9 is 900. Answer E. The face value of digit 9 is 9 and the place value of 9 is 90. Answer F. The face value of digit 2 is 2 and place value of 2 is 2. Question number 2. Write the number names for the following numbers. Answer A. 648 Answer B. 268 Answer C. 599 Answer D. 
nine hundred and ninety nine answer e five hundred answer f seven hundred and eighty nine answer g one hundred and fifty Counting on the abacus. Look at examples. In the abacus, one, three beads in the hundreds place represent three hundred. Eight beads in the tens place represent eight tens or eighty. Six beads in the ones place represent six ones or six so the number is equal to three hundred and eighty six in the abacus two five beads in the hundreds place represent five hundred three beads in the tens place represent three tens or thirty Seven beads in the ones place represent seven ones or seven. So the number is equal to five hundred and thirty seven. Exercise one point two. Question number one. Look at the abacus and write the number. Answer A. Eight beads in the hundred place stand for eight hundred. Three beads in the tens place stand for thirty, and seven beads in the ones place stand for seven. So the required number is eight hundred and thirty-seven. Answer B. Three beads. In the hundred place stand for three hundred. Eight beads in the tens place stand for eighty, and eight beads in the ones place stand for eight. So the required number is three hundred and eighty-eight. Answer C. Nine beads in the hundred place stand for. Nine hundred. Four beads in the tens place stand for forty, and five beads in the ones place stand for five. So the required number is nine hundred and forty-five. Answer D. Five beads in the hundred place stand for five hundred. Six beads. In the tens place stand for sixty, and nine beads in the ones place stand for nine. So the required number is five hundred and sixty-nine. Answer E. Five beads in the hundreds place stand for five hundred. Five beads in the tens place stand for fifty. And five beads in the ones place stand for five, so the required number is five hundred and fifty-five. Answer F. Seven beads in the hundred place stand for seven hundred. Nine beads in the tens place stand for ninety, and five beads in the ones place stand for five. So the required number is seven hundred and ninety-five. Question number two: Draw beads on abacus to represent the numbers. Answer A: To represent five hundred and sixty-one on abacus, we draw five beads for the hundreds place, six beads. For the tens place and one bead for the ones place. 
Answer B. To represent 615 on the abacus, we draw 6 beads for the hundredths place, 1 bead for the tenths place, and 5 beads for the ones place. Answer C. To represent 236 on the abacus, we draw 2 beads for the hundredths place, 3 beads for the tens place and 6 beads for the ones place. Answer D. To represent 963 on the abacus, we draw 9 beads for the hundredths place, 6 beads for the tens place and 3 beads for the ones place. Answer E. To represent 781 on the abacus, we draw 7 beads for the hundredths place, 8 beads for the tens place, and 1 bead for the ones place. Answer F. To represent 102 on the abacus, we draw 1 bead for the hundredths place, 0 beads for the tens place and 2 beads for the ones place. Kindly help our effort by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Please press the bell icon to get more of such videos. Thank you.